So first stop is Mitford, as in the Mitford sisters. And it's got its castle and its big hall, which is tucked well back from the road, so we can't really see it. But it's a very, very pretty little village. Thumberland's Thankful Village. Now, Thankful Village is where everybody who was conscripted during the First World War came home. wonderfully named Heartburn Glebe and this is the main reason for me setting out on this trip today because I've never been here before and there's something quite special down here and this rather strange thing is Heartburn Grotto what an incredibly spooky place fireplace a little neat, some plastic chairs. And a rear room. Looking back out, and notice that there's a tunnel down towards the, the stream. Now, apparently this was built by a local vicar in 1760 as a changing room for people who wanted to bathe in the river quite marvellous little place. And yes, I did ride 30 miles or over 30 miles just to come here and see that because that's the sort of strange man I am. Bye Hartman. This may look like a track through a field, but it's called the Devil's Causeway. Now, it's actually a Roman road, a stone built road, although it doesn't feel like it, that ran all the way from just north of Corbridge, all the way up to Berwick, linking various Roman forts. This is before Hadrian's Wall was built, after the Roman Empire collapsed, and Britain went into the Dark Ages, and people didn't write stuff down. The origin of it became very hazy. The people just had, didn't have a concept of anything that large being built. So they decided it had to be the work of the devil.
hope he's not looking for me. This is a classic Holloway with Morpeth. It's a big market town, so as you get closer and closer to Morpeth, all the livestock that would have been driven into the market will start to converge on certain paths, and those paths get really eroded. So you find these sort of sunken pathways called Holloways. Pack horse bridge. What a great day! Great circuit. Lots of interesting things, particularly the grotto, which was wonderfully bonkers because I like weird things. But now I've got quite a ride home. <laughs> Till next time.